Durant guarded by Payton. Brooks trying to get by Bullock. Jaron steps out. That's a long two, and it rims off. And Bullock, Morant. There's a recognition of Valanciunas being a weapon in the half-court sets have allowed the Grizzlies to be good offensively. Jaron misses that little floater. The Grizzlies have been very good with that shot throughout the course of the year. Randall, Pell-Mell move, got to the rim, drew a foul, and will go to the free throw line. They've seen, they've seen his highlight partner. How could you not be intrigued with what you may see with, from him? Jaron gets by Randall and then has it blocked. And Lance Moore is trying to find his way on the wing. Randall rims off a three and a loose ball foul upon Gibson. Solid veteran. One of those guys that you know you don't have to worry about his effort on a nightly basis. Jaron for three. And the rebound tapped him to be more aggressive in terms of attacking the rack. The offensive efficiency for the Knicks under David Fisdale was dead last in the NBA. Robinson with an offensive rebound and a foul before the shot at the basketball game. The game is more than just scoring. And Jaron did a good job of that last night. Pick and roll, attacks Portis, blocked by Robinson, and plucked out of there by Knox. Smith with a slalom and his pass deflected, now stolen by Anderson. Again, great defense that time, Tyus Jones. Jaron, an open three. Yeah, preparing for this game and watching Nick's tape, you're just trying to figure out what their identity is, and it's it's really hard to make any sense of it. Kyle Anderson with a tough chance off the fadeaway. If you can get the guys that believe in you, then you're able to get across all the things that you would like to get done on both ends. Randall posting up against Jaron, and on a rip through, that's a third foul on. Grizzlies have it first to start the third, 19 and 6 with a halftime lead. Jaron Jackson a little early up and under and in in his first bucket of the game. And I think that's a really good. Payton. Hey, that's what you want. El you want Alfred Payton and Julius Randle shooting jump shots. Crowder draws a foul, won a game. In November, they were averaging only 53 points a half. Jaron, corner three, bango! Vision. And missing the same way, partner. Short and right with these free throws. Bullock off the drive, finger roll, no, but was fouled. So when they take it all the way home, Wayne Ellington, who has seen his playing time go way down, is on the floor. Portis blocked by Jaron. Portis got it back. Solomon Hill digging at it. And that's great leadership. He's also a guy in the huddle, guys, during timeouts. He and Solomon Hill both. I mean, that's what's been so great about these veterans on this team, how much they share during timeouts before Taylor Jenkins even comes over to talk. With Ellington, is easy. He's going to shoot threes. That's why he's there. He's going to try to make it Wayne. Jaron, yes, hooks it up and in. Jaron in double figure. Another three for Jaron. Wide open. Okay. Ooh. Explanation. I mean, clearly they had designs on Durant and some other players who are not here. Jaron, a catch and shoot three. And the rebound to Morris. But these pieces don't even fit together. That's what I said. It's a, it's a bunch of guys that are very similar, and they need a pass-first point guard to make them better. And the Grizzlies another 